morning, everybody. Uber Lady Charlotte here. Today is Tuesday, and um, I'm on my way to a job interview. I know, right? Um, a company called me yesterday and asked would I be interested in a position that they had. And, uh, you know, we talked a little bit, talked terms a little bit. And then um, I said, sure, I'll come and interview for it. So that's where I'm headed. I'm headed to Charlotte. Um, so, I mean, I've been thinking about it, tossing around. I read a lot about the company last night. And it, it appears to be a place that I'd like to work for. They keep you pretty busy. Because I've been going stir crazy here at the house. I got some things taken care of. So, you know, now I got a lot of free time on my hands. So I said, I'll just go to the interview. What could it hurt, right? Um, let's see, what else? Oh, we got the storm coming to the Carolinas. As you guys know, I'm in Concord, Charlotte area. Concord, Kannapolis, Charlotte area. And um, they're saying it's going to be a bad one. Looking at the projection, the last one I saw, it was saying it was going to, um, it appears that it's going to miss Charlotte and go straight up Raleigh, Durham area, straight through the heart of it. That's where Uber Lady Baby lives. She lives right there near Raleigh in that in that zone. And um, I just hope it's not as bad as they say it's going to be. I just hope it's not as bad as they say it's going to be. So um, y'all pray for us here. And uh, we'll pray for everybody else. That's also, you know, South Carolina, Virginia, uh, North Carolina. Okay, wait, that is. I'll give it to you in a minute. Um, let's see what else is going on. I got an event that I'm going to put together. I got an event that I'm going to put together. It'll be in the fall, though. I'm going to do a um, couples foot, um, kickball game and couples event. Am I a couple? I'm not a couple yet. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I'm just going to let life flow. I don't know. But, um, so I'm going to put that event together and I'll sell food at the event. I've always been pretty good at stuff like that. Always. Um, it just comes natural to me to put an event together. Everybody has a lot of fun. You know, coordinating events. I love it. I love it. Like an event planner. I don't know how to be an event planner, but I like putting things together and it always seems to work. So I'm going to do that. That'll be in the fall. So I hope some of you around can come and participate. Um, I'm going to pick up on the book. I read a little bit of it. So I'm like, well, while I'm in my new chapter, then I'll start back writing my book so I can get on Amazon. So um, I read it and it just brought back so many memories. So now I'm going to start adding stuff to it. And I'm going to beef up my online t-shirt store. Do a little bit more with that. I have to go to Fiverr and find somebody to um, design little logos. You know, my, my t-shirts only have words on them. I'm one of those people, I don't like pictures on my t-shirts I just like words so my t-shirts just have words other than that oh let me tell y'all what I saw at the Walmart you know how they show you those little um those little clips or videos of people just really showing out at Walmart or they're dressed a particular way um you know they're in their own world well I saw some at the Walmart and I didn't know what to do I I'm a fixer. I try to fix things. You show me what the problem is. Ooh, that was a real track. Show me what the problem is or the issue is and let me have at it and I'll fix it. I'll do my best to fix it. All right, so, okay, so two things happened at Walmart. All right, so the first thing was I went to the bathroom and you know, you come out, you come out your stall and you've straightened up your clothes and all that. Well, all of a sudden I hear bang, 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 bang. And I hear this lady cussing and screaming. I'm thinking, oh, Lord, it's a fight in the bathroom. I'm going to be hostage. So I come on out the stall, because I was in the handicap stall. So I come up that stall, and, you know, it's kind of offset a little bit. I looked around the corner, and there's a lady, looks like she's in her 70s, and she is giving the door to that stall the what for. You hear me? She is beating that door down, banging her head up against the door, slamming it with her fist, and screaming at the door, and... But the door kept bouncing back off the stall wall and coming back at her. She was in a boxing match with the dang old door. And I'm thinking, help her, Kim. Help her. Ask her if she all right. But I got to thinking, I got these arthritic shoulders. I got a splinter in my middle finger. I know. It went straight up in my nail bed. It's, oh, God. 
felt like a whole spike going under my nail bed. So I got a splinter in, in my middle finger that I can't reach. It's too deep. And then the other hand, I cut that hand because I sharpened all my knives. And I cut my hand trying to debone chicken thigh. So I feel like Edward Scissor hands. I can't, I don't want nobody to touch my hands. I don't want to touch nobody. So and then I was looking too. Because she was giving that door the business. You hear me? The business. T H A, the, the business. I can't take them blows she was giving that thing on the door. I couldn't take it. So I just walked past, I snuck past her silently, and I made eye contact briefly. Then I front and center, and I got over there to wash my hands in the sink. So this other lady was over there. She looked like she was in her, her late 60s. And she looked at me, I looked at her, I say, that was it. Everybody was just trying to just get around the lady because you don't know what was wrong with her. And I don't know if I, I mean, what do you do? What do you do? Do you, do you stop the door from coming back at her or? You know, put your hand on the door, or do you do you grab her by the shoulders and say, "Man, what's wrong?" Do you, no, you can't touch him. Cause next thing you know, you got an eye jammy. I'm too cute to get the black eye. I'm telling you right now, I ain't getting no more black eyes. I, that was the childhood. I ain't getting no more damn black eyes. I'm telling you that right now. If you ain't got any ideas to give me a black eye, you better think again. So anyway, y'all tell me back to childhood. I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna get back. So another day at the Walmart. I came out the bathroom stall. I just love the handicap stall. There's so much room in there. I feel free in there. Okay. I feel free. So I came out the bathroom stalls. I go to the sink to wash my hands. There's a lady there. She's like, she was in her 70s. And uh, I smiled, nodded my head. She said, I mean, it's not funny, but y'all know me. I'll engage in conversation with anybody about anything just about. So, she, I nodded my head, you know, my little salutation. She said, I just messed all over my clothes and I forgot to go home. I'm thinking, okay, how do we get here? Okay, well, I, okay, she want to talk about it, we'll talk about it. So, I said, really? I said, it's okay. It happens to the best of us. That's just part of life. It happens sometimes. When you got to go, you got to go. She said, I'm just so embarrassed. I just can't. I can't go back over to the line and check my things out. And I, I'm just going to have to walk away. I said, well, you walk away. That's what you do. They'll get somebody to, to restock it. This is important. So you go on, go home, and take care of yourself. You know, you got to do what you got to do. She said, well, yeah. Has it ever happened to you? I'm thinking, oh, well, we going there. Okay. I said, well, actually, it has. I said, and I'm, you know, this happened to me in my 30s. I ate something that didn't agree with me. And... I didn't make it. I don't even know if I made a video about that, but that was, oh, I'll never forget it. But um, I said it didn't agree with me, and I thought I was going to make it, and I didn't make it. I had to pull over, and I didn't make it, and I messed up all my clothes. I said, but, you know, some friends, a friend of mine bought me some clothes to where I was, to the location I was at, and, um, and I got cleaned up. I said, but don't you worry about putting those groceries up. You go right on home and, and take care of yourself. That's the most important thing. And so she's like, you think so? Yes, you don't need any permission. Just go home. It's okay. It happens. So she's like, yeah, it does happen. I say, it does to the best of us. So she went on home. I'm thinking, oh, I'm having some. Walmart is, I don't know what's wrong with Walmart. Walmart is going through it. I don't know. I don't know. Walmart's going through it. So let's see. What else has happened? Seems like my family has been under attack. A whole bunch of bad stuff was happening in my family between me and my girls, my three girls. All four of us have been going through. Well, okay, I haven't been going through, but some people would look like, would say, from the outside looking in because I lost my job, they would think that I'm suffering and all that. Mm -mm, I'm having the time of my life. But um, but just sheer fact that I lost my job. All right, so if you want to look at that as a bad thing, I don't. Believe me, I don't. All right, so... With that, I got that that happened to me. Uber Lady Baby, her car motor went out, and that's what she was using to do Uber sometimes. So her whole motor went out, and she did some research. She's a very smart girl. She did some research and found out that there was a recall on her motor uh, several several years ago. So she called the um, the company, I mean the, the maker of the vehicle, and she asked them about it, and they said, yeah, there was a recall on it. You know, we've got a lot of people bringing theirs back. So she took it or had it towed over there. I showed, showed her how to do that. You know, you either call AAA or you go on your insurance. And uh, if you have it on your insurance, well, she's on a daddy insurance. So I don't know. I don't know what he got. But I told her what to look for. 
So she got the car towed over to the place. All right, so they had it a couple of days. And she called me yesterday just screaming. She was just screaming. She was screaming that the, it was the um, recall that caused her motor to lock up. So they're going to um, send her. They ordered a brand new motor for her car. And she was just screaming with glee and joy. And it made me feel good to know that her troubles had passed. And she was very happy. And I was happy for her. So I'm like, honey, that's like a brand new car. They're sending her a brand new motor. She didn't have to pay a dime because it was a part of the recall. So, um, and her dad's letting her drive one of his cars. So I'm happy for Ruby Lady Baby. She came through that. You know, she was winning on that one. And then... Uber Lady Shin Shin, she was going through some stuff. She still is, but I think we got through the worst part of it. But she had a major crisis. Major crisis. She she had a paycheck and went direct to the bank. And she had an arrangement on a, on a payment of something. But they took the money early. So all of Uber, I mean, all, Uber, Uber Lady Shin Shin, all of her money was taken out of the bank. She didn't have money get, left for gas to get to work. She didn't have money left to make her a uh, rent payment, none of that. So she was slightly short. Well, not slightly, it was a lot short. So she was. She called me at like 6 in the morning and maybe 5 something, and we were discussing what we're going to do, what we're going to do, what we're going to do. And um, actually Thaddeus stepped in to help. So uh, her situation got taken care of. And then um, she got something going on with her roommate. I ain't going to discuss that. But, you know, you and your roommate agree on one thing. And then when you move together, now instead of you and your roommate, it's you, your roommate, and her boyfriend. So, um, you know, some of y'all have experienced that, so you know what I'm talking about. So I'm not going to get into that. But that's that situation has been worked out. Um, Uber Lady Shin Shin just going to suck it up, stay there, stack up paper, and then eventually move on. See what else happened. Then, oh, yesterday, like I said, this company called me for an interview. And uh, I know exactly where the company is. I'm going to have to press the gas because everybody driving slow. It's about 30 minutes from the house. But like I said, I do know where it is. So um, that was a good thing that happened. I mean, potentially. You know, so. And then, let's see, what else, what else? Oh, Uber Lady Candy came. She's going through some stuff. I, I can't discuss none of that. But, um. She's got a plan worked out. We just hope it all, you know, comes together. She's got a plan worked out. Because I told her from the outside looking in, it looked like scrambled eggs. Okay. Uber lady, baby, I can't talk to you right now, honey. So, um, anyway, I'm going to put this phone down and go ahead and uh, focus on my interview. Um, focus on some questions. It, this is funny because I had gotten used to doing the interviews and not being interviewed. So, <laughs> I just hope I don't burst out laughing in the interview because it's going to be so funny to me. I don't want to go to the interview to be, you know, silly. I know I am, but I got to be more, more focused, more serious. So, all right. All right, I'm going to go, and I'll talk to you guys later. All right, wish me the best. All right, bye.